Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's a sit down video as sorry the road is lit really loud so I hope that you can hear what I'm saying. But yeah today is another sit down video. It's obviously in a new place because I am back at uni now. Yay. So yeah this video is going to just be 50 facts about me. Um, just so some of you can get to know me a bit better. I mean, some of these things, some of you may already know about me. But you know, some things might surprise you. You might be like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know. So number one, obviously my name is Kelly. My middle name is also Louise. Very basic. But that's number one. Number two, so I'm obviously, I'm 19 years old. And that's number three. My birthday is like of October, so I will be 20 in like three weeks, just under, no, just over, sorry, in like three weeks, that's mad. So yeah, I was obviously born in 2000, millennial, never gonna forget my age. <laughs> Number four, my favourite band is, of course, One Direction, <laughs> yeah, I love them. And then number five, most of you probably already know this, but my favourite member is... Harry Styles! Love. I love you! <laughs> yeah, Harry Styles is my favourite and he always has been. At number six, I think. Oh, I'm like, I would write the numbers on the screen because otherwise I'm just gonna be reading out the numbers and be like, I don't know what number I'm on. <laughs> um, numbers, I've written them down because I'm not gonna remember everything. So, yeah. Number six, so. I am a massive Disney fan. I mean, you all probably know that already from the previous videos. And then, leading on to the next point, I'm also a massive Harry Potter fan. Of course. When any, there is nothing else I would want to be obsessed with, like, my life. And the next one is I wear contacts. If you saw my weekly vlog that I put up on Tuesday, well, last Tuesday, because this will probably go up on Tuesday, because I'm probably going to upload on Tuesdays every week. I think, I think cast in Fridays or something. But yeah, there would have been some clips with me in my glasses and yeah. With my glasses when I take my contacts out. So I've had my contacts since I was 13. 13 years old. So seven years. That's crazy. I've had my contact oh, wow. That is crazy. Anyway. I'm a dancer. I don't know if you know. I have two brothers, one older and one younger, so I am the middle child. Whoa! Um, so my favourite season is spring, and I think it's just because it's not it's not too hot and it's not too cold, and I'm like, yay, springtime! <laughs> I know, I just love it. I'm like the flowers and it's so nice. And then my favourite Disney film is Sleeping Beauty. I feel like most people knew that, but you know, it's got to be included in the new facts. And then my favourite Harry Potter film is, people might not actually know which my favourite Harry Potter film is, so let me know if you guess right, like have a guess and then pause it, write in the comments if you really want to think what my favourite Harry Potter film might be and then let me know if you got it right. <laughs> but my favourite Harry Potter film is, I'll get the DVD. Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I love it so much. This this, this is my favourite outfit that Hermione wears. And like, well, last time when I went to the studio, so I was like, if they have Hermione's pink jacket jumper thing, I am buying it. But obviously, it wasn't there, so. But I got my spray jersey. But yes, Prisoner of Azkaban is my favourite Harry Potter film. I'm even. You have Buckbeak, you have loads of Draco Malfoy scenes, Sirius Black, I don't know, I just, I just love it, I love it, so cute. <laughs> and then my favourite Harry Potter book is Order of the Phoenix, yeah I love Order of the Phoenix, it's such a good book, it's the biggest one as well so that's probably why I like it because there's lots going on in the book, but you know they did miss quite a bit of stuff out in the film, you know, would have been like four hours long, <laughs> probably really long. Order of Phoenix is my favourite book. Um, I read the two, I read all the Harry Potter books, obviously. I've read The Cursed Child, 
and I've read the two Fantastic Beasts books that are out at the moment and I've seen the Fantastic Beasts films as well and I also love them. Oh, favourite song? Well, I've picked like three favourite songs before. Four, because, well, like, I mean, yeah, we'll see. Oh, my goodness. I might, yeah, I might do five. So, Falling by Harry Styles is my absolute favourite Harry Styles song. I don't even, can't even explain why it's just beautiful. I actually cannot wait to see Harry Styles sing that live. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm so excited. <laughs> cannot wait. And then my favourite song by Take That, who are my other favourite band. But One Direction are my favourite favourite. Um, is Prey, which I love to do each night is Prey. I don't know why it's my favourite song of theirs. Um, well, I, I know why, because I love it so much, but I don't have a specific reason, it's just because I love it. It was their first number one as well, which is so cool, but it's always been my favourite, and it always will be. And then, I'll actually do the other one I was thinking of. So also, one of my favourite songs, what am I saying? So now Haran, Black and White. I like that, it's been played at my wedding, I'm just saying, that is, that's going to play. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and then my, I have two favourite One Direction songs because I cannot choose between these two. I didn't write down my favourite One Direction album, I'm going to add that in as a bonus in a minute. Um, so my favourite One Direction songs are Strong, which is off of Midnight Memories, which people probably think, I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's many people's favourites, I've not heard people say that their favourite is Strong. I will love strong. I'm here for it. So yeah, and the other one is Little Things as well. I just think that song's so beautiful. It's beautifully written and the harmonies and their voices. I just don't miss them so much. Don't cry. <laughs> and then my favourite one of action album, which a little bonus point that I'm adding in, is Midnight Memories. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, that is, it's got so many tunes on that album, like, they went for that, they were like, boom, third album, hitting it, love it, we love it, we're here for it. Okay, let's go on to the next point, because I am rambling on. Oh, this next one is about how many times I've been to Disneyland Paris, so I've been to Disneyland Paris seven times, and then when I go again, we are going again. Unsure about whether that will be December or next year, but yeah, when I go again, it will be eight times. So that's exciting. And then the next point is, I've been to Disney World two times. I know not as many, but it is super expensive, but it's amazing. So yay! And then, oh, another fact that people might not actually know about me: I have my ears pierced. I've only got the normal, the normal one. I don't wear earrings a lot. I forget to put them in. I'm really bad at it. Like, I forget. So bad. I think it's because, like, where I'm dancing, I don't wear them when I dance. Because I don't want them to get caught. I know my hair's obviously up, but, you know, it can still, like, get caught in my hair. And I just always, always forget. And I'm like, it's easier to just not wear them. <laughs> so I would only wear them on, like, rare occasions when I go, like, out somewhere nice yeah <laughs> so next fact i think it's number 19 i'm not too sure um my favorite tv show is once upon a time like oh my god i love this series with my whole heart because i watched it first i watched it on my oh, my hair is a mess i'm just ignoring how my hair looks today um i watched it on my own and then I think my dad watched a few episodes of it and I was like, oh, actually, no, that's really good. And then I showed it to my family because I wanted the, like, DVDs. I know it's coming on to Disney Plus now. And it was, like, always on Netflix, but we got the DVDs. So, if ever leaves Disney Plus, I'm sorted. So, yeah, I got them to like it and love it just as much as me, but I'm the biggest, I'm the biggest month of time fan in our house. Hands down. I've lost my hair. Oh, okay, so the next one is my favourite actor. So I have two. So one being, if you saw my little room tour in weekly vlog. Well, it's not really a weekly vlog because I probably won't film anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, 
jacket on. Beautiful. I love him so much. I love him as the Freud. I love him in 17 again. I've got oh, Charlie St. Cloud, Baywatch, Bad Neighbours, Hairspray. Okay. Um, when he was Ted Bundy in Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and so. Oh, I can't remember. I don't even know if I said that right. That as well. And I need to watch his documentary series on Netflix. I haven't got around to it yet because I've kind of just been binge watching Disney Plus. Oops. But I'm going to watch it. I, I'm, of course I'll watch it. I feel like I've missed something. I've got like the Derby sign as well. <gasps> New Year's Eve. Me and Austin Well. I'm like. I've literally seen like pretty much all his films. I'm obsessed. Oh yeah, Dirty Grandpa. Mike and Something Wedding, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I've seen pretty much all of them. Like, I'm there. Okay, oh, and the other one, Tom Holland, just because, oh my god, Tom Holland. I love him, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing, so. We love it. We're here for it. I need to watch his new Netflix film, obviously, and it's got Robert Pattinson in it as well, which makes it even better. Okay, and then so I'm also a Twilight fan. That's perfect after just mention, mentioning Robert Pattinson. But yeah, I'm a massive Twilight fan, and that leads me on to the next point, which is 22. I think I was Team Edward when I was younger, so like obviously it came out when I was 2008. So. I think I saw it, I would have seen it when I was like 8 or 9 and then I didn't see it at cinema I saw it from the from a, either New Moon or Eclipse I saw it at the cinema um, but I was Team Edward when I was little well, I, was like, I was proper Team Edward, I had like a proper um, I had a school bag that said Team Edward and it had my name like at the bottom like why? <laughs> no, I do, I do love Edward but as I grew older, obviously. Jacob, let me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So now, you will only get this if you have watched Twilight, but I am Team Switzerland. I'm in the middle. I can't choose. I love them both. Vampire and Werewolf. Vampire and Werewolf. I'm Team Switzerland, okay? Okay, and then the next point is my favourite actress. I have two. Okay, so Lily Collins, I love Lily Collins with my whole heart. She is amazing. And I can't wait her for her new series, Emily in Paris, to come onto Netflix on October 2nd. So I'm going to be watching that. Yeah, Lily Collins is one of my favourite actresses. She is, she's so pretty. I can't even get over her. And she's Phil Collins' daughter. She's the daughter of the person who wrote all the songs for Tarzan and who wrote and sang some of the old songs of Tarzan and Brother Bear and much much more and I'm just but I love her like Mortal Instruments love Rosie to the bone you know everything I'm... I love her she is mm -hmm. okay and Emma Watson as well of course Emma Watson is Emma Watson is good Hermione oh, I thought of another one this could be more than 50 seconds, I'm telling you. Let's watch another point. Should I say that now? Or should I say that? Oh, I can say that in my... I'm, I'm just talking to myself, sorry. Okay, number 23 is, I don't like horror films. I haven't even really watched one, to be honest. I can just about just watch The Remnants. I know that's not horror, but it's creepy. <laughs> I can literally just about watch The Remnants. I can't can't deal with horror. But I can watch like the vampire diaries and stuff. Name off. But that's fine because I know they're only TV shows and they're not real. But I don't do well with horror. So you know, never watch a horror film with me. Because I won't watch it. Oh god no, I I leave the room. I don't I don't do it. My favourite rom com movie is The Frozen. Of course because Lily Collins, and it's just absolutely great. I love watching it. I need to watch it again. I might watch that tonight. I know, I'll Prisoner of Azkaban actually. Because I watched Chamber of Secrets the other day, if you saw the article. So, I watched Prisoner of Azkaban. I love Rosie tonight. 
I don't know. Oh, my top three Harry Potter characters because Yanni's favourite. Hermione. I just love Hermione. She's she's beautiful. She's smart. What more could you want? <laughs> and one of my dance lecturers, one of my lecturers at uni, he actually. He actually was in one of the films, I'll talk about that in a minute, that can be in my car face time. But he calls me Hermione because <laughs> I have like Harry Potter notebooks as well that I take to uni with me. He calls me Hermione because I always wear like Harry Potter jumpers and what when I'm cold. So yeah, but my, that lecturer, he was, he was in Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix as the centaur, Bay, Bay? I hope that's his name. I think, I think he was that one because that's the only one you really see or oh, he was a different one he was one of the centaurs in that and he showed me like some pictures behind the set and i was like i was <sighs> he was like yeah do you want to see this hermione i was like oh. Oh, so yeah my teacher was in harry potter none of you can say that boom um, well, obviously people at uni can say that, but who, who goes to my uni? I mean, like, I'll never mind. I don't mean for that to sound rude. I'm sorry if I did sound rude. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, and then my two other favourite... <sighs> my two other favourite characters back Harry Potter are Cedric Diggory, because Robert Pattinson, like I said earlier, and Draco. Draco Malfoy. I don't know, he's a massive trend on TikTok right now. But I liked him before. Just been there, out there. I liked him before. I loved him forever. Let's just say forever. But Draco is. Draco deserves better. My favourite colour? It's purple. Probably just say this in the QA, but you know. Just thought I'd put that down there. <laughs> and then my favourite smell or like scent kind of thing. So I like. I love like citrus smelling scent, so like lemon, I always have to get the lemon washing up liquid and like lemon floor cleaner like for uni and stuff, I'm just like, lemon, mm. such a good smell, I do like strawberry smells as well, like so I do like strawberry hair wash, strawberry body wash, so yeah, citrus and strawberry, favourite animal is a giraffe, I don't really know why, they're cute, and I love them, so yeah, <laughs> um, my favourite drink, god, you're all going to think I am crazy, but um, I haven't filmed my bottle up, but my favourite drink, I drink so much water, like, it's unreal, <laughs> this is not a problem, you probably all think, she's weird, why is her favourite drink water, but I just drink so much water, I don't know, I just, everyone's like, it's got no taste, it's like, well, it tastes like water, and I like water. It's good for you. Drink more water. And then my favourite like dinner food is lasagna because mm -mm -mm. it's so good. I love it. <laughs> I might have lasagna for dinner, you know. I'm feeling I'm feeling lasagna. We might have lasagna for dinner. <laughs> um, and then my favourite snack, so I like like chocolate crisps. Obviously, but also I like eating to snack. I'm turning paper open now. I like eating to snacks. Grapes, grapes, mmm, red grapes. Red grapes are the best grapes. Don't tell me any different. They're the best. <laughs> but once again, if you watch the weekly vlog, you will know that my favourite soap and the only soap that I do actually watch my favourite soap. I mean, if you're British, then you will know what it is. But my favourite soap is Essentials. Like. I've always loved these centers. Like, I think it's because my mum, my hair. <laughs> I think it's because my mum like always watched it and like loved it. And you know, I grew up watching it like from like since I was young. So you know, I've always loved these centers and it's good. I love it. And then number three, four, me something like that. Um, did say this in my Q and A, but my goal in life is to become a dance teacher one day. Hopefully. <laughs> get a degree so yeah whether that be in like a normal school or like an outside of school dance school thing you know i don't know where yet i haven't worked that out because i don't know but i'm still here 
I'm still learning. I'm trying to better myself before I can teach others. Um, and then my next one is your favourite flower. Now, people are probably like, that's very basic to like that flower, but I don't even care. My favourite flower is a rose and like, probably mainly because of Disney, like, in one direction because said her name was George Rose. That was really not in the right tune. I'm sorry for that. I can't actually sing sometimes. <laughs> that was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> um but yeah my favourite is in Rose probably because um Briar Rose is like the nickname that the fairies give her when because they obviously don't want to call her Aurora they don't want her to know that she's a princess at the moment because they call her Briar Rose and then obviously they have Rose and Beauty and the Beast and I don't know, it just reminds me of Disney to be honest so we love roses, especially pink ones pink ones are nice and like when you, when you go to Disney on Ice, they give like I, I, haven't, I didn't go to last year's one a few years ago I went to when, uh, I had a pink rose for never thought and I got a red rose as well another time and I'm like, oh and then at number 36 is my lucky number so or like favorite number whatever you'd call that so mine is seven i don't know why seven just always stuck out to me so hey seven um so number 36 is you probably guessed this from me saying that i don't like horror films i hate halloween with a passion unless it's disney halloween disney halloween i'm there for because it's not scary it's cute <laughs> but i don't do halloween i I hate it with a passion. I never went trick or treating when I was younger because I, apart from like Mickey's not so scary Halloween party, and maybe I like was once when I went to a friend for a sleepover or something. I don't like it. It's like <laughs> I got this from like my mum as well. Like she hates trick, not hates them, but it just feels like begging for food and like trick or treat. <laughs> I probably sound really, really horrible right now, but I don't like Halloween. I didn't like, I just don't like trick or treat, and I didn't like it when I was younger either. I was just like, no. <laughs> oh, funny. This one is like, people are like, mm. so number 37 is I definitely want to get married at Disney, or I want to have a honeymoon at Disney. Like, you knew this was coming, you must have known. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like, I'm sorry to my future husband. I, I don't know who that's gonna be, but hopefully, Harry Styles. I'm <laughs> joking. That is never gonna happen. <laughs> I am getting married there, or having a honeymoon there. Like, it's gonna happen, it's gotta happen. It's me, it's me we are talking about. Disney obsessed. <laughs> my Hogwarts house. I'm a Slytherin. I, I do take the Pottermore test like years and years ago. I didn't even know how old I was, maybe like 12. And I got Hufflepuff. I do have a Hufflepuff top as well because of Cedric Diggory. Because love. Let's not even talk about his death scene because I cry. Yeah, Cedric Diggory. But yeah, I'm a Slytherin. I have a Slytherin spirit jersey as well. So got a slipper and notebook as well and a slipper and mug I mean I don't have much much merch because I do not have a lot of money to be honest but you know if I ever go back to Florida hopefully hopefully soon I know but yeah if I ever go back to Florida I will probably buy some more slipper and stuff oh 40 I think actually my favourite style of dance is jazz I live for jazz, like technical jazz. I love it. So good. Oh my god. Technical jazz, jazz musical theatre jazz, commercial jazz. Like, I love it all. I love it all. But obviously, I love all styles of dance. I like, I like ballet as well. I like contemporary. I like street music, like hip hop. But I am not very good at it. Let's just say that for the least. I am not good well, at all. You know, I'm going to hopefully get better though. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get better. <laughs> Next one is, oh god, why did I write this? I dyed my hair, like bleached it blonde, when I was year, in year 11. 
I really don't know why I did that. Let's just say we do not want to talk about that again. I'm just, I'm leaving it there, but we don't speak of this. It was not nice. <laughs> and then over lockdown, I dyed my hair like a purpley black. You probably saw in the videos, like, start off with it as like a dark colour and then it started like fading into the purple. And it is nice, um, I felt like mouth on this sentence. Um, but basically it's just because my dad picked up the wrong hair dye for my mum. Because she dyes her hair black. Um, and it fades. Um, she dyes her hair black. So I ended up purple black. I was like, well, instead of wasting your money, I'll just use it for a bit of fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's why my hair was purple in past videos, but it's, I think it's pretty much all gone now. It's all back to brown really now, so yay, my natural colour is back. I'm a brown. I'm a brunette. Number four, two, two, three. I don't know, forty three I think. Um so my favourite fizzy drink is like Coca-Cola Coke. Whatever you want to call it. Coca-Cola or Coke. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, talking about drinking, I don't drink alcohol. I'm not like, it's not, I just don't like the thought of it really, it doesn't really have a nice smell to be honest, I'm not a fan, like not many 19 year olds can say that they don't drink or don't like drink, well I can, I just don't like it, something else I get from them, she don't, she didn't really like her either to be honest, <laughs> honestly. I get very cold. I feel the cold a lot, like in winter. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me have like both my face blankets on. <laughs> I get so cold. That's why I've got one on my chat, like just in case I get cold while filming filming the YouTube videos and I've got my frozen one on my bed as well. Like I just get cold, I feel the cold. Like down. <laughs> Let me try and hurry up because this is gonna be a really long video of what I spend. So next one, I love Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas? Like, I just love the lead up to it. Like the Christmas tree, seeing all the Christmas lights. I think it's so beautiful, and I think it's just lovely. They get to like appreciate your family and spend so much time with your family, and you know, give presents to each other. Like even if it's not a lot, you don't have to give presents. Like obviously, yeah. I just think it's lovely to spend the time together and celebrating it all together. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. People might not like this. I went to my first concert. I was four years old <laughs> and I went to see Kylie Minogue with, I think I went with my mum, dad. Um, I was standing, I can't remember who I went with. I knew I went with my auntie and then and my uncle were there. Well, when they were married, yeah, and I think it was like Christmas. I can't remember, I really care about that. My mum was definitely there. Cause I, can't, I don't think Kyle went, I don't think Carl went. He was, he was young. He was literally like not long born when I was four. I remember the concert just oh yeah it was my lecturer the one that was in Harry Potter he's danced with Kylie Minogue before I'm like he went on tour with Kylie Minogue I'm like hello what <laughs> like why 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 if you can ignore these things I love hmm? <laughs> my shoe size is either five or five and a half like it depends where I go and then occasionally sometimes it might be a six but normally five five and a half and it's been that way since like year seven, I'm pretty sure. My, I have tiny feet. Oh, I think I only have two left. So number 49, I have, very luckily, been able to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on stage. And my God, I want to go again. It's so expensive though. Like, it's really, really expensive. And it took ages to get the tickets because we went as a five so me my mum my brothers me my mum dad brothers you know we went as a five it took ages to get the tickets but we got them and we went in the end so yay happy days i'm so weird i'm so sorry i'm in the weird mood and then the last one oh i don't know many people know this to be honest i don't really talk a lot about it But I have been in a like short movie thing. I think I was like 13 or 14 when I did it. Um, it's called Lily's Revenge. If I can find it online, I might link it. If I find it on YouTube, I might link it in. I 
don't know what side it is, I might link it. Yeah? Or in the description box, if I find it. For Lily for Lily's Revenge, when I played the Eagle Step Sister. It's only like three, four minutes long, I think, but <laughs> it was really funny to do. Like, <laughs> I dressed up as it. It's like kind of like a scary thing. It was weird. It wasn't weird, it was fun to do, but I don't it was fun to obviously act in something, but <laughs> I after like three years after that I realised I don't really want to be an actor. Not that I don't like <laughs> It's not that I don't like drama, but I love acting, don't get me wrong, but I know that I want my career in just art and then like I can like act and sing like as my own hobbies alongside it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, I can't remember much about it. I know I did lip sync because they got somewhere else to sing the songs, which is fair enough because like they just came to. No, I didn't mind. Like I was in a film. <laughs> if I can say that I've been in a short film, like that's crazy. I look weird. I'm just saying it now. I look weird and I look small. I don't see how tall I was. I think I'm like five seven and a half. I don't really know. That's why I didn't put it in there because I don't know how tall I am. Anyway, um, I look quite small. I don't know. I think it might be fun to watch it again, actually, to be honest. <laughs> oh, on oh, my link, it's funny. You probably won't even recognise me, to be honest. I can't remember if I had my contacts out. No, I must have done if I was like 13 or 14. I can't remember. I'll link it if I can find it. Well, we'll try. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of this 50 facts about me video. Wow, this is a long video. I will try to edit it and keep it as snappy as possible. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you feel like you know me a little bit better and now you can see what I mean. I'm weird and I'm obsessed with like Disney, Harry Potter, Twilight, One Direction. I'm not even sorry. Yeah, thanks for watching, I guess, and I will see you with a new video soon. Next Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be yet. Bye!